Oh man, this is the most amazing house I've ever seen here in Miami and it's not in Miami Beach. That's crazy. I love this house. start from the very very outside because everything here is impressive the house starts all the way there in that hydrant and goes all the way there in that car and that's my bike so this house is about 13,000 square feet the correct the precise measurement is going to be on the description of this video and the way is seated you have one two three wings one two three wings this is the service wing where you have all the service and the but on the maids quarter and everything you have some of the bedrooms right here the master bedroom there with the gym so number one the entrance gate is something from a movie and it's very impressive i'm speechless the combination of materials is amazing. You have natural, you have fake grass, you have stone, you have appearing metal, you have wood. Look at this. This is just an amazing door, entrance door. There also, I would do like a bigger door, but that's taste, that's preference. Here we have this nice, like, it's almost like a Japanese gar garden. And I'm going to the maid's quarter later. And we are going to enter. There's a lot of water in the house, like water features. And as I told you, stone, wood, metal. Entering the house, they're going, the house is still under construction, more or less four to six weeks, maybe eight to finish. There we're going to have a fireplace and this is going to be the entry lobby. And right here where I am, it's an office with pocket doors. So we can enclose this. You can have your client coming in. You can serve your client here and they never get into the main house, which is very nice. All the windows as the lovely listing agents are showing me they open and they are pocket doors also. So they go all the way out. And here you have one of the gardens of this house. There is the other wing that I'm going to show you. So it's usable space because everything was done to be integrated, truly integrated inside and outside. All the materials, I'm impressed with the quality of the materials and the finishes. Yes, it's a 13 million dollar home, but I've seen terrible job in 13 million dollar homes. You can see everything is perfectly done. Look at the size of this mirror. Oh, that's a nice effect, the infinite effect. This is the uh, powder room from the first floor. You have stone. Look at the size of this door. It is and a solid door. It's not those bullshit doors that I see in other places. Here we have an elevator to the second floor. This side we have the service wing, as, as I told you. We have the, one of the bedrooms. We have six bedrooms, including the maid's door, the maid's um, quarter, which probably is this one. On that side, sorry about the noises under construction, but it is what it is. Here we have the laundry room, very spacious also. Have a lot of space there, we have the AC, and on the other side, right there you have a massive garage. 
a garage for one, two, three, four, maybe five cars. Maybe five cars garage. If you put a lift, you can even make 10. Everything glass, doors, the panels, they open all the way up there. So you have that combination of inside and outside, which is terrific. We are going to the main wing of the house now. There is a service, there is a quarter home on the, on the roof, on the second floor. This is what would be formal uh, living or dining room. Probably the formal living room. There we have an exquisite wine cellar, which is already running. Very cold. So we have a lot of space here. You can see there is a lot of space. I don't believe they are going to have a problem selling this house. I'm working, I will work my ass off to sell it because it is the most amazing house that I've seen here in the last, well, in a, in a while. And the kitchen has not only one, two, but three islands. So there have more space. I'm going to show you the kitchen. This is quartz, it's amazing. So here we have the same thing as there, another office, another office space, which is not counted in the six bedrooms. Also with pocket doors. You pull it here, oops. You pull it here, you close it. On the other side you do, on the other side you do the same. I have a lot of space here. Water, window, window. You have natural lighting. Look how beautiful, beautiful the kitchen looks like. With that frame right there, that's the money shot. So serving here is a serving island. You can serve your guests here. Here is, the, you can say it is the, uh, I don't know, the bartender. He can serve, he can prepare, he can wash. Here we have the main island in the kitchen. Everything quartz, cabinetry, impeccable, impeccable cab cabinetry, Binova. Appliances, of course, top of the line wolf. Space you won't miss here. Here we have the Sub Zero freez freezer and fridge. Also, I love this. I am. It's jaw, jaw dropping. Here you have your dishwasher, your trash cans, space, space, more space that you have here. Probably there is going to be a, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what is that. Probably they're putting the, the thing. Because this doesn't have a handle here, so Either it's push, it's not push, or it's going to have handles. Double oven. What is this? Oh, have more space for more stuff. And here you can have your breakfast area. On this side, breakfast area. And let's go to the outside, which is also from another world. So here we have the spa, which is, I think the biggest one, I think the biggest one I saw lately. I love the, the, the leaves coming down on this and there we have the barbecue area. 
here we have a barbecue area, full kitchen basically. Have all Enox Viking stuff. Here you have your. This is a sauna. This is a sauna. Oh, marble. And this is probably going to be water, like a small pool. And uh, <laughs> this is amazing. So crazy. So crazy. I mean, it's not because it's not the most expensive house that I've seen, it's not the most terrific. Everything, I, 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 the, 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 the floor plan, the design, it's well thought, I think, in my opinion. So, pool, infinite edge, your bathing area. There you have the gym. There you have the master. So let's go upstairs through here. So, oh no, I need to show you something. I need to show you something else, which is a piece of art built in on this house. A, a piece of art. So look at this staircase. Look at this staircase that takes you directly to the master bedroom where we are going right now. So this is very... I, I, I need to explain my vocabulary, I'm sorry, but it's just outstanding. So here, <laughs> they have a bathtub on the outside. I don't know if it's just here. Like to install? No, there's actually a pipe. There is a bathtub on the outside. I want that now. I want that now. So this private terrace is for the master suite. So the master suite is this whole wing. And of course, the bathtub. Oh, call me crazy. You here will also have a shower. So that's the entrance from the hallway to the master. You have the explain me. You have a seating area here. This is a seating area. This is the actual bedroom or something like that. This is the bedroom. This is the seating area, and here, everything is pocket doors, you see, pocket doors, close it, pocket doors, close it. And you come here, and you see this bathroom, which, fuck me, excuse my English. Another bathtub, <laughs> I will never use that one, if I have that one. Bathtub, dual sink, shower, double shower. That's a rainfall. You have the rainfall shower head with a sky window. <laughs> That's so sexy. You have two enclosed toilets. Say hi to my friend Toto right there. And this is the closet which you can do wherever you want when you go around the closet you have the other bathroom this one i think is not turned on yet so he's not greeting us but it's also in closet now this bathroom is just ridiculous is just ridiculous. Look, flush, drains. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Unfortunately, now we're leaving the master bedroom. I'm just going to show you the other bedrooms. They are all the same, but great size. You have this one, private terrace, and 
a decent size bathroom and you multiply that for three. You don't have walk-in closets, but I told this before in other occasions. I like those kind of closets because it saves you a lot of space. Everything is very nice. The only thing that I would do differently in this house would be the baseboard. I would do floating baseboards or floating walls. That's that's half a point down on this house. This is one of the other bedrooms with the restroom and I have this other living area here. So by the way, there is where you come from the downstairs. You have this living area right here. Right there we have another bedroom. This is another bedroom. And then you go to the master and the elevator comes here. And now I'm going to go down. Oh, let me see. Oh, the guys are spinning. Oh no, sorry, the elevator comes on this side. And here we go downstairs. Or is there two elevators? No, one elevator. Great.